All right, today we're going to cover um, the stoichiometry of gases, okay, and look at volume mass relationships um, and how things can change. So we're going to do stoichiometry of gases. All right, now Gay-Lussac's law of combining volumes of gases pretty much states that at constant temperature and pressure, coefficients in the balanced equation represent a ratio of volumes of gaseous reactants as well. Okay, so it's not just, remember, we've had rea balanced chemical reactions represent a ratio of moles of this entire time, but it can also be a ratio of volume. So for example, if you just use the coefficients here, you've got a 2, it means if you had 2 liters of hydrogen, if you combine it with 1 liter of oxygen, you'd get 2 liters of water. Okay, so we also can use them as volume ratios. So if we look at the example, this is ozone. This is ozone is O3. This is how ozone is formed. Ozone is formed from oxygen molecules. Um, that reorganize themselves and, and have a chain of three oxygen molecules instead of just two. So if the question says how many liters of O3 can be made from 12 liters of O2, well, we can use that ratio, okay? So if we start with 12 liters of O2, all I want to go, oops, two liters of O3, so it's just the balanced chemical reaction here, two liters of O3, over the 3 liters of O2. So I can cancel that out. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 divided by 3 is 8. We need two sig figs, so it's going to be 8.0 liters. Okay. Now, if you ask the same question, how many moles of O2 are needed to make 24 moles of O3? Okay, now for part 2, we've got, we're going moles to moles, and you can do this two ways. Okay, the first is dimensional analysis, just like we did up there, where if we had 24 moles of O3, we wanted to go 2 moles of O2, so we're going to end up with um, 3 moles of O2 on the top and 2 moles of O3 on the bottom. So if you take 24 times 3, divide it by 2, you're going to get 36 moles of O2. Now you also can just use the stoichiometry chart Okay, that can work as well. And your stoichiometry chart, you're going to end up with still your the bottom half, the moles, the change, and the x. We're not dealing with grams, we're not dealing with molar mass, so they're not going to be on here. You're going to have three O2s going to two O3s. Now what you're starting with is 24 moles of O3. You're still going to put your coefficient as 2, so 24 divided by 2 is 12. All right. We take 12 times 3, and that's also going to be 36 moles of O2. Okay, so it doesn't matter which way that you do this. Um, in fact, if you're doing a liter conversion, you could, in essence, just replace the moles um, as liters um, only when you're going from liters to liters up there. But if that's, whenever you're using a balanced chemical ratio, um, you can use that to help you. Okay, now for the molar volume of gases, it's very similar to molar mass. It's the mass of one mole of a substance, but with volume. So it's the volume of one mole of a substance. Because of Avogadro's law, which pretty much states that um, the more mass you, the more moles that you have, the larger the volume. Okay, um, one mole of any gas has the same volume as any other gas at the same temperature and pressure. So, we have this constant standard molar volume of a gas, a volume of one mole of a gas at is one atm and zero degrees Celsius, or at STP. Okay, is always 22.4 liters per one mole. And remember, that's at STP. All right, so 22.4 liters of any gas has one mole of particles, but will have different masses. Okay, that's where the molar mass part comes in, and so we're going to have to pull that back as well. Uh, standard temperature and pressure, like I said, 1 atm and 0 degrees Celsius. And just to drive this point home, um, you know, this is the molar mass of hydrogen, 22.4 liters. Molar mass, 1 mole of helium, 22.4 liters. 1 mole of ammonia, 22.4 liters. You get the point. If you have one mole, okay, I'm not sure what that was, one mole of gas at STP, 22.4 liters, okay. Now the reality of it is this is really just a shortcut for PV equals NRT, okay, um, because if you think about PV equals NRT, well your T is 273 Kelvin or zero degrees Celsius, your P is 1 ATM, 
we know R, so you can go between the volume and the moles. So really they've just done PV equals NRT and they've given you a shortcut. If you don't like this, you can keep using PV equals NRT and get the same answer. Okay, so for example, a chemical reaction produces a 0 .0680 mole of oxygen gas. I'll show you both ways. Um, what volume in liters? Okay, so the known part, we've got point, oops, point zero six eight zero moles. We want to know the volume in liters. It's at STP. Okay, so as soon as you see at STP, you should be thinking, oh, I can use my shortcut. So here's the shortcut way: point zero six eight zero moles. If it's at ATM. Um, sorry, at standard temperature and pressure, it's going to be 22.4 liters per one mole. We just got to multiply those two numbers. Three significant figures, so it should be 1.52 liters. Okay, again, if you didn't like that, you could just plug it into PV equals NRT. Um, your pressure, again, is going to be 1 atm. You'd be looking for the volume. Um, your moles, 0 0.0680. Okay. Your R value is still going to be the same um, 0 .820, 0 0.08206, and then your temperature would be um, 0 degrees Celsius or 273. If you solve for volume, you get 1.52 liters. So it doesn't matter which way you do it, but it's just a shortcut. Okay. All right, now chemical reaction this time produced 98.0 milliliters of sulfur dioxide at STP. What was the mass of gas made? Okay, so we're going to have to do a couple of steps here. Um, first, we're now again, we're given 98.0 milliliters. We want to know grams. Okay, now I don't have a way to go directly from milliliters to grams, but what I can do is go milliliters to liters, liters to moles, and moles to grams, okay? You're really going to start to see us have to put together a lot of these conversion factors that we've been covering throughout the year. Um, it's a multi-step process at this point. So we're going to start with the 98.0 milliliters. We have to go to liters in one liter. There are 1,000 milliliters, okay? It's at STP. So now even if you didn't like this, you could stop here and do PV equals NRT in order to get to moles. I'm going to use the shortcut because I like the shortcut. Um, one mole is 22.4 liters. Okay, And it didn't want moles, it wanted grams. So I've got to find the molar mass of sulfur dioxide. The formula for sulfur dioxide is SO2. The molar mass is going to be 64.07. So the one mole goes on the bottom. 64.07 grams goes on the top. So math-wise, I need to divide by everything on the bottom, multiply everything on the top. So 98 um, times 64.07, get an answer, divide it by 1,000, get an answer, divide it by 22.4. And that's going to give me 0 0.280 grams of sulfur dioxide at STP. Okay? All right, one more. It says a chemical reaction produced 3.1 grams. This time we're going to go the opposite direction, okay? They, I've got 3.1 grams of carbon dioxide. I want to know milliliters. So I'm going to go grams to moles, moles to liters um, at STP and then liters to milliliters. So it's pretty much backwards. So 3.1 grams of carbon dioxide. My molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44.01 grams per one mole. So that's grams to moles. Then I want to go moles to liters using STP. So one mole, 22.4 liters. Remember, if I wanted to, I could stop here and go to PV equals NRT. Whichever way you want to do it, doesn't necessarily matter. But then once I got that volume unit, I would have to go from liters to milliliters, and I still would have to oops, multiply that answer by 1,000 to account for that. Okay? So if I do all this math, and you should double check these on your calculator, two, two sig figs in your original data, so you should get 1,600 milliliters, or 1 1.6 times 10 to the third. Either one, doesn't matter. Okay?
Alright, and then, sorry, one more last one. How many moles of gas are in a container with a volume of 2.46 liters at STP? This is just back to the simple one um, where you've got 2.46 liters. I'm just going to do the simple version. You could do STP or um, PV equals NRT. 22.4 liters. Take 2.46 divided by 22.4. 0.110 moles.